This, uh, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, this is body armor that I wore when I was overseas in Iraq. Many members of the armed forces uh, who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, virtually all uh, who served overseas, have this or a version of this in their house, in their basement, in a duffel bag somewhere. This bill, maybe I'm coining a new term, but I consider it legislative malpractice. The bill was introduced on the 20th, and it would make, it's, that, this bill, if it's enacted seven months after, would make me a third degree criminal. Me. Some of you may like that. But a third degree criminal, if I don't know to register this. And all my brothers and sisters in arms who have these in their basement, in a duffel bag, who don't get the memo that they need to register this, are guilty of a third degree crime with no opportunity for amnesty, no pathway to turn it in, no way to rectify it. This bill was moved so quick to appease the governor that you're creating criminals out of Americans who helped defend our very freedom. At one point this served to protect me, but now it serves to, to potentially put me in jail. And if you don't know, the third degree crime penalties, for anybody who might not be aware, it's a felony conviction and it's a term of incarceration of three to five years and a fine of up to $15,000 for having this. My question to you is what, what does this solve? Who does this help? And why do you jam legislation through with such speed that you don't think things through? Why would you put this bill out of committee today? I have no idea. I often plead for you guys to slow things down and to not pass things through because it's going too fast and things are wrong and not completely thought out. If there's ever a time to do it, it's now. This makes me a criminal for having this. And who am I hurting? And who are my brothers and sisters in arms hurting? Please do me a favor today and vote no on this piece of legislation that does way, way, way more harm than good. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.